This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and we are back with this course of light once again and this video today is going to be actually a very quick and simple video it's all about switch replacements um, we're going to replace the hazard switch we're going to replace that switch as well because the dashboard does not um, illuminate so we're just going to replace the switches and I'll, uh, I'll quickly show you why and how and so on. Stay tuned. So the reason why we are replacing the hazards. There it goes. You guys see the indicators are working. But when you want to cancel, it's not cancelling. I found a few days ago that once you cancel this, it doesn't cancel fully which causes the indicators not to work. Then you have to like mash it once or twice on top of the dash and then suddenly your indicators start working. So um, I've been having this issue, this thing has been scratching my ass long enough. So let's replace this switch. See what I mean? I just cancel it, indicators are not working. Check. Indicators are not working. Indicators are not working. Smash it. Now the hazard comes back on. Anyway, let's change the switch and get this issue sorted. Okay, all you should need is just a screwdriver, small screwdriver. So you can just <laughs> move out the entire switch. There we go, clips up there, and then and if we go get some pliers, so I can pull it out. Let's see if this works. There we go. As you guys can see, very simple thing. You just pull this out, and we're just gonna put the new one in. Let's see. Uh, let me just take a brush and just quickly clean there. Better. New. Awesome. Has it all working? Stopping. Indicators are working. Okay, here is our second little problem. As you guys can see, the dash is not displaying anything. Uh, not the dash, man. The kilos. Where the kilos and uh, so on is. So, yeah, it's not displaying anything. So if we switch on the car, it's supposed to show you something. Yeah, originally I thought ah, maybe it's the fuse. But then if you can see nicely, you guys see you can actually see there's something there. It's it's displayed. Okay, can't see like that. It's displayed. It's just that it's not bright enough. Now nah, that's the issue. And the switch works. So you guys can see switch itself works. What is not working is this illumination button. This switch came out with this stupid illumination thing and I think that's what's broken. Once again all you need is a screwdriver just to take the unit out of the dash. So um, while I struggle with that because I only have one hand Okay, 
um, I'm just going to put the phone down and take the unit out. And I'm not going to throw this away because if we run into a bloody emergency and I need a light suddenly, I can always use the switch again until such time where I can replace the switch again. Uh, but let me just uh, uh, use the screwdriver and just get this unit out. There we go. It's very simple plug and play modules. It's just a module like this. And uh, what we're going to do now is take the new module and put it there in the hole. Let's take a brush. Just brush those contacts nice and clean. Get this area nice and clean there. Okay. And uh, let's get the new module. Okay, here we have the new module. Let's just insert it there. Everything should, should line up. Okay, shall we test it? Okay, that's working. That's working. That's working. Oh man. But the illumination is not working. I just knocked on the glass like this and it suddenly came back. Better than ever. Even this works now. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe it's just a loose wire. <laughs> well, we solved the problem. Yay! Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za We can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.